Hey guys, so today I'm finally doing another declutter and I've wanted to do this for so long. I feel like I just have so much stuff that I'm not using and I keep using the same things over and over again. And I really want to get rid of this Alex drawer that the camera is actually on top. I want it out of this room and there are a couple of drawers in there that aren't even being used or there's just junk in there. So I really want to try and get all the makeup on my desk, either in it or on top of it. I also recommend playing this on a higher speed, like 1.25, that's what I've been doing, just in case I talk a little slow sometimes. Here we go. I'm going to start by just taking things out of this Alex drawer because that is the first thing that is going. Okay, so we're gonna start section by section or I should say tray by tray, and I have two bins. I'm gonna put everything that I don't want into here and everything that I do want in here. So one on each side, here we go. I'm keeping these palettes for sure. This can go. This, oh my God. This can go. This I can still use. Time to check which ones have gone dry yeah these are all so old and i have other ones these can all go i will keep this elf one though because it is quite new i have to keep these um yeah because of masks and stuff hopefully they'll end soon um i have to keep those these i still wear this one i feel like i can let go of it's so old sensual it has hard pan but it is ancient this elf bite size i don't know i have to see if it's too similar these lip colors i can keep more lip balms i have my brushes i gotta keep those oh my god this is so old getting rid of that i tried it it was a sample I didn't like it. This product I did try out in a video, but I tried it out a few more times and now that it's hot, it just does not work for my skin. This contour is all used up and I never used this side really. This is also very old, also expired. Keep, and I'll throw this away. Keeping. Hi. <laughs> This I'm going to toss. It's just difficult to work with for me. And these four liquid blushes I will keep because they're my only liquid blushes. I should use this for my lips and not my cheeks because I'm not too crazy about the color on my cheeks. This is for soap brows. Going to toss this Ciate powder. I'm just over it. I have another powder. The next thing that I want to go through is these single eyeshadows. And I'm just going to get rid of all of them basically because I always think that I'll use single eyeshadows, but no, I will not. I have a ColourPop one and an Urban Decay one. Gotta go. I now have two from MAC that um, these can go and I can put them in my little MAC stash and get a free lipstick. Haven't done that in so long. Laura Mercier powder, I'll keep that just in case. And I have an Anastasia brow powder. My hair is obviously not the right color, so I can't use it. So I'm gonna keep that. And this red gel eyeliner can obviously go, it's so old. Moving on to lipstick now. So this one is going to go by L'Oreal because the taste I could not do. And I have my two Charlotte Tilbury ones. I'll be keeping those. These Pat McGrath ones. This one's definitely too light. Like, look at that. I'm not gonna wear that. This one is quite dark and I really like that. Oh yeah. It's a nice one. I have this really old L'Oreal Lumi thing that I got for free. Um, gonna toss that, it's almost gone. And I have Whirl Mac. I don't really wear it that often, but again, gonna keep this. I'll see if I still like the color on me. And if not, I will go into the Mac bag. And my two Harry Potter ones, of course I have to keep. Did you guys just see that? <laughs> I forgot that you could see. Like, <laughs> is he okay? <sighs> My back is hurting. I'm too old to be on the floor now. Blocket powder is gonna go. I never get this dark anymore. Moving on to the second batch, very full. I'll keep these. And these, I forget about these. Keep those, 
my Heavy Metals palette. It's my only colorful palette like this, so I always keep it. Camel Concealer, I still have that, but it separates. I don't like it. This is new. Another glowy product from FabFitFun. Fenty Beauty Match Sticks. They're tucked away and I forget about them. Tossing this finally, so old. And this, RIP. This liquid highlight, I don't really have liquid highlight. I'll keep that. Um, not my color right now. Not my color. Expired. Oh my gosh, I forgot about my Rare Beauty. I have to see if it's my color yet. That's my problem. Too dark. And this is old. This is also too dark, but I'll see. I refuse to get rid of these lipsticks because I just can't wear them right now, but I know I will be able to, so I'm gonna keep these. Toss that. Finally tossing that. I said I was getting rid of it, but I didn't. <laughs> And the Modern Renaissance. I wanted to do a video with this. I don't know what oh, I was watching stuff, but um, yeah, I didn't. I don't think I'm going to do a video with it. And the subculture, I'm going to keep. This I should um, whip out and see if I have things similar, um, but I do love this palette so much gone. If you guys have been here for years, you guys have known that I've done like DIY lash extensions and I do them every once in a while. I haven't done it in a while. So I do have some things from that. Like I keep these like really crazy lashes because I peel off the individual lashes. So yeah, I have stuff for that. I do have some lashes that are like a wee bit dramatic, but I've gotten rid of so many false lashes. So I really don't have a lot. I just think I'm gonna keep them um, And I have to see if these will work for the magnetic eyeliner that I have Try these again, and I'm getting rid of these. We now have some palettes, which um, This one I've had for a while haven't used it in years and if I really want a colored highlighter I'll just use an eyeshadow. So there we go. Logic has killed keeping that and now I have the Athena palette, which I have the Huda Beauty palette, which basically is like the same thing. Um, not gonna lie though, when I touch these now, they are very soft. Oh my god. I kind of now, I'm like, are they better? Oh my God, it is better. Here I am holding up the Bad Habit and the Hitty Beauty and my favorite shades are the really shimmery ones like these over here and they're better than the ones in the Hitty Beauty palette. Like they're so much softer and they're not, yeah, not difficult to work with. Whenever I use the Huda Beauty one, I have trouble like getting into these colors. Like this purple one, I need to scrape her off. These are the razors that I get from TJ Maxx for my upper lip because I do not like to shave that because I get breakouts or I don't like to wax it because I get breakouts. This box right here, Emmy Cosmetics box, could not get rid of this, has a bunch of backups. Brow pencils, eyeliners, blush, random stuff. Not really much. So I wanna keep this and like put more things in here. Um, next up, we have, what do we have? We're moving on to the desk. By the way, I'm wearing the Tower 28 in coconut. So nice. And my tank top, it has built-in bra and it's from Uniqlo. I don't like that it's like that, I don't know. All right, let's get back to the makeup. So this all started with me looking at all of my lip liners, which this is them, plus one. And I don't really buy many lip liners. I'm not gonna wear that. 
Now bring your eyes closer so you can see what's happening. While we're here, this is what I see when I'm at my desk. So right now I have this tray with some cups that holds my sponge and some face products that I use on a regular basis. And of course the mirror. This I got from upstairs in my bathroom and I decided to try and use it down here again. I have this glass that actually goes on top of the Alex store. So these are all lip products, an empty Bath and Body Works um, jar. Um, I have concealers and things um, because this is me getting started and I was like, let's film. So this is what I see and this is mainly for eyes and this is for face. So I'm gonna try and like do something about that because they're not actually filled to the back. Like there's a lot of space in there. So these KKW ones I like. One of them is new for the neutral shades. Love these. Love that. And these colorful shades. I'm gonna get rid of this NYX one because it is uh, quite dark. Don't see myself wearing that. These Wani ones are just so nice. And I have two bite ones. This one, yeah, I'm not gonna wear that. Is that similar? This is what I have to do. I have to see if it's similar to something I already have. I do like it. In here, I have my four Stila like, liquid eyeshadows. Love these, they are still good. Here are my tools. Make up a Mario palette, of course I'm keeping. So these are the mascaras. And these are also good, so I'm gonna keep those. My one eye primer, clear brow gel. I have my eyeshadow sticks, I only have four. Don't really use glitter, but just in case. These three eyeliners I'm getting rid of because this is gray, I don't really use that. This one I think I'm allergic to, it makes my eyes water, I used it like twice. And this blue Sabbath one, I'm not gonna use that. Here are my pencil eyeliners, and I just have three of them, two brown, one that's um, lighter, darker, and then a black. I have two fun pencils. Honestly, they're kind of old, but um, nothing has happened, so I'm just going to keep it. And I have three liquid eyeliners, also good. Of course, these three hourglass um, pressed eyeshadows. Ugh, I just love this. I wish they would come out with like a different set for the holidays this year or something. So this is actually some hair gel. The got to be spiked and I put it in this old MAC paint pot container. A little tiny brush to clean things up. This Winky Lux pencil is like a grayish shade and I can only use it in my hair as black so I'm gonna put this in the backup little box. Moving on to this drawer, there's not much in here. I just have some palettes that I use on a regular basis. It's a fun size one. I wanna start using more because it's so cute. This Smashbox one is nice, but um, I don't know, I hardly use it. Back a little bit crooked, but it's fine. So I have these three. I'm gonna keep those for sure, because they're new. Not that new, <laughs> more like a year old. Um, I use these all the time. I still have Champagne Pop because I don't really buy highlighter. So yeah, I just have a few of these that I switch back and forth between. I have one bronzer, which I love, and I'm trying to use this baby up. Like, this is a mini one, and I feel like I've had this for so long, and I still have not hit pan. I have this primer that I honestly don't use enough because I forget to use primer, but hardly used, so I'm gonna keep it. And then I have this RMS, like, cream highlight thing. Still have to use that up. I feel like it's expired, yeah, but, um, I've hardly used it in the past year because of COVID. I have a sponge that I have to use, um, forgot about it. I have lancets for popping pimples, which honestly, thank goodness, like I'm so happy. I don't have to do this often, but they're still there for convenience. I have this milk primer sample and two little powders. This is my to-go powder. I've hit pan on it. It's not much in here, but it is really satisfying to use up powder because it's just fun. I have a lotion. So this right here is why I have trouble with um, my makeup because I have a lot of concealer. Something that I collect, this is not concealer. It was a sample, but I really like this. Like, it's very nice. I now have three of these e.l.f. brightening concealers because I wanted a lighter color and then a color that's kind of the same color as my skin, like my face. These are new, gonna stay. I wanna use this up, gonna keep that. It's my only like sticky primer. I've been using this on my face. Before, when I first tried it out, I did not like it, but now I do. Tarte Shape Tape, 
I, um, I don't know. I've had her for so long. Oh, she's very empty though. I'm gonna get rid of her, I'm just gonna do it. And if I need a concealer that matches me, I'm just gonna go get one. And then cover effects, also very old. I think I should toss her. I have RMS on cover up. Man, I need to use this because it's a natural product and like they don't last that long, but it's not breaking up. And then I have my Charlotte Tilbury color corrector, which I definitely you know, like. This I now like, this is, uh, I guess this is my liquid bronzer. It's a concealer though. And then this little Tarte Hydro Sealer. It was a little sample and I do like it, but I have other things like it, like the e.l.f. one. So I'm gonna toss this little sample. So now everything is separated. I'm going to actually put everything in the bins or containers and put them in by category, just so I can see like how much of everything that I'm keeping. And then I wanna do that for what I'm getting rid of. That I know is gonna take a while, so I'm just going to show you the results in three, two, one. Here's everything that I'm getting rid of. It's not much. It is mostly complexion, and um, I know palettes take up a lot of space, so that will be good. Um, I am nervous to put everything back because there's a ton of it, but we'll see how this goes. So that's it for this video. I am going to do a part two, which will be like the tour of everything. So stay tuned for that. And please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Um, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.